That's my theme song. <laughs> Wearing this jacket with that song, man. <laughs> Return so of the people. Mac. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, dude, welcome to the show. I think now you, you, you know you know some of the roots. I right? know all them dudes. I've been stalking them for like five years, man. <laughs> I'm like the lost member of the band, you know. <laughs> but it's cool. They added some new cats and they ain't give me no invite. It's cool. I know y'all not too. But uh, <laughs> you uh, you hung out with them Fourth of July. Well, I mean, kind of impromptu. They they did a Fourth of July show in Philly. You know, Tariq and I were working together. Yeah, Philly, <laughs> Illadelphia, Pensy. <laughs> That's the residency. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, Tyreek. I said I never do that. I'm sorry. So um, they were doing the show Fourth of July, and uh, you know, Tyreek didn't give me no tickets. <laughs> no, but so they didn't invite you. They didn't invite me. So I'm like, cool, whatever. So I go downtown, you know, one one to the museum, Rocky, everything, and there's this old black dude like chasing me around, like you can't come in, you can't come in. So you know, I set up a diversion ran around the back, hopped the fence, and went in. So he's chasing me around for like 30 minutes. Then somebody was like, well, this is the Roots bus. Cool. So <laughs> I went up on a bus, I'm chilling. Then Tyreek came in, and I got asked to leave. <laughs> they threw you it's out cool. It's cool, that. though. It's cool. They threw you out. I'm going to yeah. find the bus again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm from Philly as well. Are you really? Yeah. Really? They asked me to leave also. That's how it happens. <laughs> That's, That's, happens. That's how it happens, That's man. They, they invite people to the concert, and they just tell everyone. It's, everyone it's a little rough leave. place, man. They were performing with, uh, I don't, Cheryl Crow. Do y'all know who this is? Yeah. Yo. Of course. Of course. You know, I Cheryl thought she Crow. was like a professional swimmer or something, because I always saw ESPN <laughs> with Lance Armstrong. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> so when I got backstage, I'm like, they open it. For, I, I need to find out who this is. So I'm you running around. You thought she was just Olympic swimmer? Yeah, I thought she was like, you know, her, you know, Phelps, you know. So I'm running around looking for Cheryl Crow. And I'm like, everybody got mad at me. I'm like, do you really see me driving down the street like, I want to soak up the sun? No. <laughs> no. no. She's but, the happiest woman on the world. Yeah, but no, leaving Las Vegas is a pretty depressing see, song. Yo, her and like Alanis Morissette and a celebrity death match. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, really? Like, I hate men. I love the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'd be interesting. That'd be a good match. We can see if we can set that up. Set that up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're, you're, you're in New York now. You're doing Shakespeare in the Park. Right, right, right. You're a right. Shakes Shakespearean actor. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I went to Juilliard, so I took some classes in Shakespeare. I love Shakespeare. Um, he's the reason I'm still acting. Um, 400 years later. Um, yeah. But I'm doing the Bacchae. Uh, it's a play by uh, Euripides. It's a Greek play, and we don't speak in. Because somebody asked me yesterday, why are you doing a Greek play? Do you speak ancient Greek? Yeah. And I was like, no. You, like, what? Where are you who from? Comes, yeah, yeah, who comes? Yeah, who? I mean, you know, it's already Greek. It's like, what do they call it? It's it's Greek. No, I got that, but it's a place. They have olives. Uh, and... I heard about that. Yes. <laughs> they. But is it near Turkey? Ibaka? Ibaka? No, no, no. That's Chewbacca. Chewbacca. No, <laughs> the play is called the Bacchae. The Bacchae. Yes, the Bacchae is. It's um. It's a play. I play Pentheus, son of Agave and Cadmus. And Obviously. Pentheus, you know what I mean? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello hey, did you take fourth grade English? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Pentheus goes against the god Dionysus because he's come into his town and made the women go mad. Like, the women are just in the hills fornicating, right? So Pinthy is like, where, we can't where, have... Where can I get there now? <laughs> no, Bob, no, Bob, no, Bob. No, no. It's a play. It's no, a play. But, you, but, but they ahead. fornicate with each other, and if they see a man other than Dionysus, they rip him to pieces. Ooh. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's pretty rough. Sounds like my life. So, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, can't, I want to see it, because I, I love seeing outdoor play, plays. Man. It's, a, it's I mean, outside, right? It's outside. Shakespeare in the Park. Oh, There's so an a, amazing theater called the Delacorte. And it's an open air... Uh, thrust stage in the middle of Central Park. It's beautiful. So it's, uh, you know, there's like this family of raccoons and they just come out and do their thing. And <laughs> like they really like Anne Hathaway just finished Twelfth Night. And like she's so white, she's like a shining beacon, like a spoon in the sun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the raccoons just couldn't get enough of her. Yeah. <laughs> They're, you know? they're, they're there in the park? Yeah, it's a family. You can't kill a raccoon, man. No, I, didn't, I, just, I just trapped okay. uh, two. Don't do it. Got, we Don't do them. it, man. You release him. Yeah. yeah that's, really? You were just talking about this on the show last week. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it Dylan was. Dylan McDermott. McDermott Dylan McDermott was, yeah. He, Sorry. Please talk. He trapped... He, uh, pardon me. There were... There were, there were <laughs> hey. What's your weekend, man? Like? Yeah. What you doing, trapping a...
<laughs> Raccoon, dude, Raccoon, come on, we dude. release them in Central Park. Oh, right? good, good, good. All right, yeah, I forgive you. I forgive so you. So the raccoons get on the stage with you? Yeah, no one when like the raccoons Like a country, country raccoon jamboree? Yeah, but they're playing songs. Yeah. 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 Animatronic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're the so, same raccoons. Yeah, you know. Uh, but you, I gotta say, I watched The Hurt Locker. Yes. Man, frightened me. I'm, I tend to frighten people. Gosh, that yeah. movie scared me so much. Well, I'm I'm sorry, I'm dude. You know what? It's, it's a, not. It's it's like yeah. a interracial dating, dude. You don't have to. We're fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is it like interracial dating? It is. It is. Because at first, you're, you know, it's like me going to the meat packing. Like you're a little scared. You don't know what to expect. <laughs> and when I come up and buy you a drink, and you're like, oh, you're such a nice guy. I'm like, yeah, I told you. See, you don't have to be scared. We're <laughs> Not because of interracial. I was just scared because you were, you're, in a, you're in a bomb unit in Iraq in this movie. Yes, I'm in an a EOD squad that uh, goes around Iraq and uh, defuses uh, IEDs, improv, uh, improv explosive devices. And uh, they're like our first line of defense. You know, they're the guys who go out and help our soldiers fight. It's like, because every time you turn the corner, you go, oh, my gosh, this could be a bomb. Yeah. Or uh, this person you can't trust. Right. Or this person you can't trust. I don't trust him. And then I don't trust you. Right. And I don't trust him. It's like, wait, what is it? I went nuts watching this movie. Yeah, and yeah. And it just, like, just goes to show what the soldiers are going through. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, wow. It's a phenomenal movie. Captain have, Bigelow did a great job. We have a uh, clip of the movie I just want to show. Here's a clip from The Hurt Locker. Yeah, very nice. You're great in the movie. Thanks so so good. It was a great movie. Thank you. I Anthony Mack, everybody, the Hurt Lockers is here.